let's talk about optimism real quick. Um, as you can see, I do have this long-term yellow trend line. Um, now I'm going to try to zoom out here so you can get a, a better picture of this. This is the daily. Let me put this on the weekly time frame. Actually, it might be a little bit easier to see it. But there's a, a really long-term trend line. Now, um, if I expand this, you can see it pretty much goes uh, from when optimism really started, at least in the Binance chart here. Um, and yeah, you can see that it's basically respected this trend line almost the entire time until a few weeks ago. Uh, right now, it looks like it's trying to get above this trend line, but it's also fighting this weekly uh, resistance here at about $1.83. And we need to get to about, well, uh, about $1.95, let's just say $2. Uh, to get over this trend line once again. So if we can do that and hold it, uh, you know, start closing, you know, what, a four-hour candle, daily candle, better. Um, now, the overall downward trend, I think that's pretty much broken. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can put like a, a trend line kind of like this. You know, maybe we can even put the trend line kind of like this. Um, it doesn't really matter, but, oh, yeah. That's a good thing as well. Um, so, yeah, guys, optimism is is looking much, much better. Let me get rid of that trend line because it's not really relevant at this point. The only trend line we need to worry about is actually, you know, down here around the dollar ninety-five. So uh, after that, you have about two dollars eighteen cents to get above. That's a weekly uh, resistance. Then you have two dollars thirty-six cents to get above, and then the daily time frame up here at about two dollars fifty-three cents. Uh, to get above once again and basically i would say to be really extra bullish on optimism three dollars because we need to take out all of this range but we have started to take out the last several weeks that's a good thing but really we need to make a you know a higher high here so uh, at the moment it's still not mega bullish but the last couple weeks have been nice and uh, we almost last week got a bullish engulfing candle here. You can see it was very, 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 very close, but we didn't get it. Uh, but still, guys, it's much better. Uh, you know, we're we're trying to get, you know, to two dollars now. So I think we'll get there probably next week. Um, you know, uh, who, who knows what we'll do over the weekend. But, uh, you know, usually weekends are, are kind of dull. But uh, last weekend was a little bit spicy, I think, on Sunday. Anyways, Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. Um, you can see that basically it's breaking above some uh, resistances. Now, like I said, we were fighting this resistance here. Uh, days, right here at about 64.8. We broke that today and uh, we did break through 65.7 at the moment. So we are about $500, $600 above that. And we got to move towards these next two daily uh, resistances. <clears throat> and uh, those two resistances are quite close together. So that's going to be kind of a zone to kind of push through, maybe a little bit tougher zone, we can say. Then you got the top of the Fibonacci. Then you got this daily resistance up here at 69.5 and 71.3, basically. And then we're basically back to all time highs, guys. <clears throat> now, I want to talk about the weekly calendar next week. Um, Thursday, you do have jobless claims, uh, core PCE prices for Q2. Um, you have durable goods orders, uh, a lot of things on Thursday. And also on Friday, uh, you're going to have PCE, personal income, personal spending, you know, Dallas, Fed, PCE, Michigan numbers again. So Thursday, Friday is going to be big for uh, economic news. So anyways, guys, that's what I got for you on optimism and about Bitcoin. And about the coming week, uh, you know, with the economic calendar. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.